Hello, today I'm going to show you how to animate some clouds in the background and have those continuously loop without any glitches or blips or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to start a new flash file. And um, move my stage a little bigger here. Um, just so we have a blue nice guy background, let me change this to a blue. And we'll go ahead and I'll just use the pencil tool to draw out a cloud. You can create your cloud however you want. Whoops. Let me start over there. Line when the little nuts on me at the end. There we go. Well, let me do this one more time. Sorry about that. Just a simple little cloud. There we go. And I'll grab the paint bucket tool and I'll just paint that white. So I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to right click and turn this into a convert to symbol. And I'll call it cloud. Now there are plenty of ways you can make this cloud look a little more cloud-like. Um, you could use like a JPEG or um, some other kind of bitmap image. You could change the style of the look. Maybe you wouldn't have the black outline around it. Um, a more advanced thing would be to change this actually into a movie clip symbol instead of a graphic symbol and then um, use the blur filter on it. Um, that would be a possibility as well. Um, but we're just going to animate this guy. Um, actually, I'm going to do a couple of these. So I'm going to right click this symbol and I'm going to do another convert to symbol. Sorry, that's off stage there. And I'm just going to make another graphic symbol and I'm going to call this one animating clouds. And in my main layer here, I can just call this cloud clouds. That works. Um, then I'm going to go into my animating clouds. So now I'm inside of this scene here, or inside of the animating clouds timeline. And I'm going to do a couple different ones. So I'm going to have cloud one. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and make another symbol. I'm going to change the name of this slightly, convert to symbol again. I'm going to call this animated cloud instead of clouds because I'm just going to do the one. And over here in our library, we now have cloud, animating clouds, and animated cloud. Um, all to have different names. So I'm going to go into the animated cloud symbol now. And so I'm going to start it just on the middle of the stage here. And let's say that... Hmm, maybe we could do 60 frames. So I'm going to right click here and insert frame. I'm going to right click again and create a motion tween. And so let's say about frame 20, we're going to have it animate off the stage here. And if we want this to loop continuously, basically the key uh, point here is that this cloud has to be back in its starting position here in frame 1, so that when it loops back, it'll be in this position. So we're going to have the cloud go off stage, and we'll let it be off stage for a little bit, and then maybe around frame 50 
Let me do it this way. I'm actually going to split this tween into two separate tweens. Um, I'm going to right click here and you can't see it but all the way down at the bottom of this dialog box there's one called um, split motion. Um, actually it needs to be a keyframe first. So um, one little trick to make a keyframe pop up is I'll just hit the up arrow key because I did something there and then I'm gonna hit down just to put it back in the same place it was but so I didn't really do anything to it but it did create a keyframe so now I'm going to uh, click just that one frame I have to click off and then click that one frame right click and at the bottom you'll have split motion if you choose that it's gonna break it into two different motions now at frame 50 here I'm actually gonna move this straight back over here and if you hold your shift key you can keep things moving in a straight line um, little tip there I'm gonna move it straight back and then I want it to end up in this position um, let's see if I can copy this keyframe I'm not sure if it'll copy between from one tween to another but we'll see what happens uh, I'm gonna single click this one frame I'm gonna hold the Alter Option key, Option key on the Mac, Alt on the PC, and I'm going to drag this down to this position at the end of here. And you can see that line there, so it actually didn't quite do what I wanted to do. So I'll have to do this manually. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see what the position of this cloud is. I'm going to select it. I'm going to look in my properties, and I can see that the, let's see that the X is at zero and the Y is at zero and you might wonder why that is because we're kind of in the middle of the stage here but keep in mind we're inside this animated cloud symbol and this point right here is where the registration point is and so that's where it's measuring zero zero from and the cloud is right on that point so it's at zero zero at this point um, so what we can do then is go back over here we can grab the cloud go to um, Make sure I have that instance and you'll see that the X and Y, the X is negative 255. Well I'm going to click that and change that to zero and the Y is already zero. So but now I basically know that, um, well actually we don't want to do it to that first frame. The first frame we want to hear, that's fine. Um, but we want it to move to the end to be at zero, zero. So let's go to frame 60, select the cloud then change it to zero zero and you can see that the tween motion happened there so for that last part the clouds gonna come back in from the left so then when it loops it's gonna go back to the exact same position and then continue on that way so let's do a test of this let's do uh, modify or I'm sorry control test movie test you could also just hit command on the Mac control on a PC enter so that's the shortcut key for that um, we don't have anything animating yet that's because we used graphic symbols and um, there has to be at least 60 frames in the parent timeline so let's go back to animating clouds we'll make sure that this is there for 60 frames so I'll right click and insert frame then I'll have to go to this parent too of the main timeline and um, we could actually have this go on more than just 60 frames. I mean, it could be a multiple of 60 if you want. Um, so I'm going to right click at 180 and do an insert frame. I believe that should just keep looping. So let's test it now. And so the cloud comes across. There's a little bit of pause. I mean, you could change that pause length however you want. but basically we have a continual loop of that cloud going across now it's moving pretty fast um, that's because 60 frames let's see what my frame rate is I have a pretty fast frame rate so 60 frames is is pretty quick I mean ideally you pick your frame rate first um, for whatever you're gonna use it for and then you make your um, timeline so this cloud, if I wanted to make it longer, I could just, actually, let's just do that because it's a little wiser way to do things. Um, let's make 
it take 180 so I'll come all the way out to 180 here I'll right click and insert frame I'll go inside now this one will have to kind of stretch our tweens out so first I'll start at the end of this one and I'll stretch this all the way to 180 um, and then I'll change the I'll just click right in between there and move this out to I don't know 130 and let's test it so now we have a little more reasonable speed you could even make it slower than that I mean you can make it really slow clouds typically don't move too fast um, you can see on the testing that the uh, speed of it coming in when it switches to a different tween it speeds up a little bit um, that's just because I was just kind of dragging at will here you could sort of think through and calculate out the the, uh, the space and timing a little better uh, but we have the main idea of that so now we can go back to animating clouds and you can see why I put this um, a couple levels deep we can go to animating clouds and we can put another cloud in here cloud 2 and we can go to our library and actually we can just use the same um, actually I'm going to take this one on stage here I'm going to edit copy um, let's go to cloud 2 now in the timeline which is now empty and I'm going to edit and paste in place I'm going to use my down arrow keys and move this down here so now we have two clouds now if we test a movie right now they're just going to go at the same speed and we don't really want that so to mix it up a little bit um, we're going to use something called the first property now this is a property that's only available for graphic symbols so I'm going to grab cloud 2 here I'm going to go to properties and we'll see this under looping unroll that if you need to um, you have the first property now what this does is it changes what position inside the symbol that it's going to start at so I'm going to move this to 60 um, maybe I sh let's have it on stage here so let's say 30 so now it's it's using the same symbol but it's starting at frame 30 instead and it's going to continue from there to start looping so I can test the movie now and we're using uh, the same symbol yeah you can definitely see that cloud kind of take off in speed and we could just kind of adjust the, our tweens there to to improve on that because we probably would want our clouds to kind of move at a constant rate there but let's even we could even have the cloud um, we can add as many clouds as we want so let's do another layer and this one will do a edit copy edit paste in place I'll use my arrow keys to bring this one down and let's say this one let's have it start you know at the end of the motion there we'll do a test movie um, let's see what would be a good let's try 130 I kinda want a continual cloud motion going across um, we almost got that now basically we could just keep adding um, different layers of clouds if we wanted to just using the same method um, I still kinda don't really like how that's speeding up so um, let's see we, it takes us 130 frames to go through three-fourths of the stage looks like if maybe we drag this this way that might balance out the speed a little better um, or I might be making it worse let's see yeah that's making it worse so we actually need to drag this more this way let's try this now that's that rates definitely pretty more constant and we can go back and change these um, starting times to different times to 
kind of have some continuous clouds passing through here. And like I said, you can just add more and more clouds, as many as you want. And you can really do this with any sort of background elements, but um, clouds are kind of a typical background animation you might see, so I thought I would show how to do this.